Revival is one of the most misunderstood terms in Christianity today, in my opinion. Revival is used to describe all kinds of phenomena and uh, that we are almost afraid to use the word. But revival is real. Revival has affected the world all through history over and over and over again. Any honest reading of history, there's two things that have affected the world like, and have been history changing, history mileposts. Uh, and one has been pandemics and the other has been revival. Pandemics have affected history all back to the beginning of time. But in written history, we can go back to 500 BC or AD and we can see how a, one of the worst pandemics affected the world, but it also had a very str a spiritual effect in the world. And all the way through history, over and over again, we saw what, 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 how the world was changed. Pandemics and revival. Folks, we're about to start a conference that is going to have some of the speakers from across Canada and the United States that will share principles of revival so that you can understand it better. It can get our churches on the path of revival, get our lives on the path of revival, and help us to understand what it is. I'm challenging you and asking you that please make a priority for Sunday, May the 24th, this Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Each one of those days, we're going to have different speakers sharing principles and sermons on revival and what it is and what it can do for you, for your church, your family, your community, and your country. God could be arranging all of this for one of the greatest history, life-changing times the world has ever known. Revival. We need to learn what it is. We need to seek God for it. And like all of the things of history, they came, but they never surprised God. God had a purpose in every one. Every pandemic that affected the world, there was a purpose. They were terrible. There was death. There was isolation. There was quarantine. But there was following it, light, life, and the amazing things that came. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ, churches around the world, I'm asking you, please try and prioritize this revival conference on your calendar, on your priority of things to do. And let's see if maybe God is leading us to something great and amazing at such a time as this. God bless you. Pray for us more than anything. Pray for these revival conferences, this conference, and, uh, and we will hopefully see you Sunday night. God bless you.